Okay, we didn't get a big laugh, but I think we're good, right? <laughs> Welcome to the PJC cast. <laughs> Don't cry, Jimmy. I can't help it. I'm crying with laughter. I'm crying with laughter. Was that the real start? <laughs> no. everybody welcome to the pjc cast also known as the project koozie crew where we do would you rather's and other fun things my name is jane i'm jimmy hi jimmy hi uh we're we're sitting in the hot tub this balmy autumn evening and um we're we're just you know contemplating life's mysteries what, what's something you've always wondered about jimmy why don't um, narwhals have two horns ah uh here's some here's a little tidbit a tooth i thought it was a brain <laughs> they're they're big hard brains well, sticking out unicorns horns are their brains is it yeah i knew it was they got the, big hard brains the focal point of their powers but and that's and that's why they're not like if you're smooth brained you don't have good brains mm-hmm. but if you have wrinkled brains much like the unicorns have on right. their horn because they're always spiraled spiral coral uh, they're very smart yeah they're very smart very smart and in intelligence of at least 17 so what i'm really getting yeah exactly what i'm really getting at is why don't uh, narwhals have a bigger uh, more than one tooth mm. <laughs> why not come on narwhals come on narwhals get your fucking shit together get it together Ugh. um my my life mystery hmm um like the platypus really the duck, the duck build one. Hmm. They're they got a lot going on. That's my mystery. That's my mystery. They got poisonous feet. Don't touch them. Sometimes I I wake up in a cold sweat and I'm like, oh, platypus. Is there a regular platypus <laughs> instead of the duck build variety? <laughs> yeah, is there like a regular one? <laughs> well, there's the, there's the duck build platypus, but there's also the like anchovy faced platypus, which is oh. real gross. It's nobody, so little. nobody, regular wants... size body. Yeah, right. Tiny head, <laughs> and nobody talks about it because it's just off putting. <laughs> you know, Phineas and Ferb would never incorporate that uh. platypus. Hey, Phineas and Ferb's supposed to be real good, man. That's what I hear. <laughs> what was the g- guh for then? Because I was just thinking about him. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Perry? Perry <laughs> yeah. the platypus? Because I was thinking about him all not like in his regular mode. Hmm. And he's all like, bleh. bleh. And he then, is kind of like, bleh. And that's what I thought about. And his eyes are like, like you know the creator, wall-eyed. The creator of that show's on TikTok. Real active. Ooh. Real good, too. Ooh. He's a community member very funny um um yeah so mysteries we're thinking about them um but uh oh man that would have been a great category to google and then tweet about but instead i did movies so we're gonna be doing (laughs) new mystery movies no we're like clue we're just um we're just we're uh i I went i went on google i said movie would you rather questions Uh um first one up for us today comes from brightful.me uh, don't know what that is hate that um but this <laughs> is a this is a fairly newer list this is 18 movie would you rather questions from uh calvin on the 8th of august 2020 thank you calvin here's the intro thank you calvin we got a we got an intro okay If you're friends with movie fans, you'll know there's nothing more fun than hypothetical situations to imagine. Nothing. Nothing more. Fuck it. Get it out of here. Disney World? Fuck it. Online video games? No. uh, Offline (laughs) video games? Alone time is never fun. Uh, The hanky panky? Not fun as as fun as would you rather. You get a you get a part. You get a a a beautiful woman. Here's bring her home. And you're like, hey, sit on this bed. I've got 
18 would you rathers I've curated from the internet. She's like, oh, sex can wait. <laughs> and you both just come immediately. Yeah. You just both come. Um, here's a list of movie would you rather questions that will act as great icebreakers whenever you're hosting a movie night or just want to talk about your favorite films. If you're looking for a specific type of would you rather question, you can check out our collection below. Oh, damn. That's a, that's a good list. We got Ooh. funny, gross, hardest, deep, and best. All okay. Lists. So let's uh, let's 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 get through a couple of these, see uh-huh. how we feel, and then maybe we go to hardest hop. or best. Okay, hop my, over my uh, my recommendation. You can also check out our different icebreaker games at Brightful Meeting Games. If you love this list of movie would you rather questions, you'll love our movie trivia. Number one, question number one. Okay. Would you rather have the powers of Shazam or be Batman? Shazam? It's magic. That's having magic. I mean, Batman's uh, super uh, smart. Smart and super rich. And he's very, very (laughs) rich. But at the same time, he's also deeply conflicted. I mean, if he's a wizard of Shazam, that's what I want. I thought you said Kazam starring Shaq. No, that would be cool. I saw that movie in theaters. Oh, I might have. It was a double feature. Comes out of a boombox, that one. With perhaps Spy Kids. Wow. I, I saw it. I remember, I remember it very vividly. Because there, there used to be a movie theater where you, it was like, it was two screens. And they had double features. And it was that. And it was like some other crappy movie that at the time. I I, I, I kind of want to look it up when we're Kid done. in King Arthur's Court, it was I believe. crap. And, but, but it was free to see the double feature. You already That's paid for wild. the ticket. And all I ate was popcorn. And I got real sick. Yeah. <laughs> And I remember, and my grandparents took us, and I remember it very vividly. And I even then don't remember liking Kazam. Yeah, <laughs> maybe now I did like it. Maybe now I remember liking it. And I, I think I'd be Shazam as well. Yeah. Uh, would you rather be on the run from Thanos or be in the presence of Sauron? Well, is Sauron the bad one? Uh, Sauron's the big eye, the unblinking oh. eye. It won't necessarily hurt. No me. wait, Sauron, Sauron. Yeah, I always lot. get them mixed up. The eye of the eye of Sauron. That sounds correct. Yeah. Okay. That sounds like because the evil wizard, the one um... Gimli. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my axe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be on the run because Thanos. That means Thanos is trying to kill us. Yeah. The other so one. So just being maybe in the I'm presence, just chilling in a giant yeah. eyeball. Maybe that's yeah, all right. Just chilling in there. Just it's like, hey, yeah. you're like on one of the two little points. You know. Here's me in your eye. <laughs> You're just Ooh. on the point. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like up top. Uh, would you rather battle a troll from Norse mythology or a basilisk from the Harry Potter series? A, t- what, a battle? Battle. A troll. Because yeah. I can use my eyes. The basilisk. You can't according, look at. You can't. It, well, you, yeah, you can't look at it in the eye. Right. Um, And th- then they're just fucked. But the troll may... I don't, the trolls regenerate. I don't know if the Norse mythology ones regenerate, but... In general, they, they regenerate a little bit, and that's kind of their whole fucking steez. Well, that, and, you know, if you take the gem from their belly button, then they're they're really kind of powerless, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, because if you do that, then the hair stands up. Then the hair just a boing. And then their they're dancing, uh, singing magics won't did affect you. Ever, did you, you ever have it? I, I did own a treasure troll. Did I you never own did. One? No. I owned a, at least a couple. At least a couple. I was a beanie baby boy. Beanie baby boy? <laughs> I had, I had at least three Beanie Babies. Um, my first one got stolen. Wow, who would steal it? Well, I put it, I put it with the lunch boxes, just loosey goosey <laughs> at school. Yeah, I was a dummy. I was a big fat dummy. You, you learned a life lesson that yeah, day. Yeah, that's right. The children are assholes that steal things that aren't nailed down or put into lunch boxes. I know my they they had four Beanie Babies. You can get it like McDonald's or something. Yeah. And my grandma was another grand another grandparent story immediately. Yeah. They were very uh insistent that it was gonna be the thing. It was gonna be the thing to hoard. It was gonna be worth a lot of money. Sure. So they like kept them in the bags and they were real cons- they were real serious about it. And now it's the year of our Lord twenty twenty one. Uh they're they not they're them? just not worth anything. No, not really. They don't. I think I think we looked it up like years ago. And they're just like not worth maybe maybe twenty bucks, you know, mm-hmm. like 
Um, would you rather be in a Hunger Games arena Ugh. or be on the Death Star during the Rebel Alliance attack? These are fun. These are kind of good. Yeah, these yeah. aren't. These, these are all right. These are doing um, all right. I want to. I want to be on the Death Star because uh, have you ever heard of a little something called escape pods? Jesus Christ! You don't have to be a part of the Empire if yeah. you're just on the Death Star. But if yeah. you're in Hunger Games, it's kill or be killed. Yeah, the Hunger Games is. Uh, you have to kill children. Not good odds. Not great. One of you may they ever be in your favor, but live. you know, yeah, only one. Man, I love the Hunger Games. Do you? I love. Yeah, I made I it. My, I made it. I. I mean, I, I. I never saw the third and I guess fourth movies. Hmm. Um, I hear they weren't at quite as good. The third book was also it was a little disappointing. Hmm. Got a little weird. Um, but they. I mean, what a way. Supposed to apocalyptic a... fucking. Uh, it got. It, it, there wasn't more to go. There wasn't a lot of places to go. <laughs> <laughs> World ended. Bye. <laughs> It was just like, the first book was like, oh, there's a Hunger Games arena. And then the second book was like, there's an, there's another one. It's a, Here it is again. And it was still good. It like made sense. One more once. And then the third book was like trying to deal with the plot. But then like they're doing, I don't want to actually spoil it. But like, they, they, Hashtag they, like, spoilers for a, they get a to hugely the end. popular book yeah. that has been made into movies. Yeah. Jimmy, I think you're fine. But listen, okay. What if you haven't watched it yet? Then, <laughs> but like they have, they have. There's a moment in the third book where they're just like, "It's like, it's like a th- an arena again," <laughs> like, but it's not actually. Yeah. And it's just they're like, just trying oh, to. Okay, uh, all right. <laughs> you being so sensitive about spoilers reminds me of a story today. Um, so it was raining all day. So at work, uh, the groups of kids had to be indoors and the fifth graders were playing episode one star wars episode one the monopoly <laughs> oh i didn't know how that sentence was gonna finish so they spent all day playing monopoly and uh i, I was in there for uh, a couple minutes and um <laughs> i just start yelling out fake spoilers but i start with hashtag spoiler <laughs> The first hashtag spoiler was Anakin Skywalker's Darth Vader. (laughs) (laughs) And apparently that riled these folks up because they were like, no, can't you can't say anything. You're going to ruin it for us. And I'm like, you're playing Star Wars Monopoly. Like, what are you talking about? (laughs) And then I was like, hashtag spoilers, uh, Jar Jar's a Sith, he's the leader. (laughs) (laughs) Hashtag spoilers, Greedo is green. (laughs) I didn't like that. No, and then it it turned into (laughs) hashtag spoilers, uh, George Lucas directed Star Wars. (laughs) Um, And I think the last one was hashtag spoilers, Bruce Willis was a ghost. Oh, Oh. But they stopped listening to me at that point, and they yeah. just start like screaming at me to s- <laughs> to stop spoiling the movie. I'm like, you're not, you don't even. You're not even. He's a ghost. He is a ghost, though. <laughs> I, I I'm sure I've told this on the podcast before, but when when we were in high school, um, the Passion of the Christ was out, <laughs> and uh, we we wa- we like drove our our whoever's car, whoever had the car in mm, our in our the high car school friend group, yeah. yeah. The one, the the one friend who wasn't as cool as the rest of your friends, but he did have a car and a license. Gave him, gave him that leg up, huh? Uh, um, <laughs> and uh, uh, we drove by and we yelled out the window, "Jesus dies at the end of Passion of the Christ." <laughs> you little we are hooligans! Little, little rebels, oh my little god! Rebels. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be on the Death Star uh, during the Rebel attack because you then make you a good point. Get out of there! You just, make a good escape pod based yeah, point. Yeah. Who who needs it? Um, would you rather go up against the penguin or the Joker? The penguin. Yeah. Because he's way more lame. But what is the penguin's <laughs> fucking deal? Like he's got a he's got a fancy umbrella. Yeah. Yeah. The Joker's like a, a genius, and he's a crazy. rude boy. He's super crazy. But like the penguin's like, Meh, I want to make I money. S- I sort of look like a penguin. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and like I, I guess I have money and I'm on a. I'm gonna waddle after you. <laughs> my parents abandoned me. In I'm the eating version. fish. Look at I'm, I'm love, gross. I love fish. It's part of my character. <laughs> I'm a bam. <laughs> scary. I don't know why the penguin is one of the biggest. Like I'm sure that there's shit that he's done that's cool, but like. You can't get on board. Even huh? the second Tim Burton movie, it was just like, what? What even is this? I don't know. What, like, oh, okay, I love it. the I penguin love was it. the one you chose. Uh, they 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 uh, paint it as if he is uh, Bruce Wayne's like counterpart, because mm-hmm. like the penguin, the Batman, you know, like both animal kind of people, and he was abandoned by his rich parents and got raised in the sewers, right? So he's the the dark dark knight. What what raised who, who raised him though? Uh, the circus. The he, the, the he the was sewer found. Circus? Yeah, the sewer circus. <laughs> uh, yeah, the poo poo clowns. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the sewer folk. Yeah, that's right. The 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 waste gremlins. <laughs> the ass acrobats. <laughs> The, the crusty sp- carnival. <laughs> the strong smelling man. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Oh boy. Uh, okay. No penguins to be seen though. <laughs> no. They don't they don't live in the <laughs> sewer. <laughs> but he had some in the movie. He did. Yeah, he got he got a hold of him because he, he like broke into a zoo or whatever. <laughs> in, <laughs> I'm a mastermind. In one of the video games, his monocle is a uh, broken off bottle that's embedded in his skull, which is badass as hell. That seems kind of rough and tumble. Yeah. Um, would you rather be a student at Hogwarts or a student at Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters? I think we've answered this one before, but I mean, it's kind of magic all the way. It would be magic all the way. If Hog- we'll take we'll take the the transphobic n- nature out of it, yeah, and just and just say take magic, the magic. Magic is a general in a general sense. It's better than being a literal mutant. Yeah, and <laughs> you know, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's a rough life for those mutants. I mean, it started as an allegory for, uh, you know, segregation and, and yeah, and it still is, and it still is, and um, and, and magic is is very fun. So I'm gonna go magic. Uh, would you rather be part of a werewolf pack or a vampire coven? I bet those werewolves really rip it up. They have a lot more fun than the vampires, right? I don't know. I bet. I bet the werewolves. Are like woo party, and the vampires are like mm, leave us. Mm. I feel well too cool to feel. <laughs> I feel like the werewolves. Well, and werewolves aren't immortal, so I'm not terrified existentially. I think I'm, I'm picking vampires. Oh, pro- like well, so it sucks, right? Because like Jimmy, you emo. That's me. I'm gonna You're... grow my hair out and have one. I'll cover up one eye. It'll take right. years. It'll That's take right. a long time. It's gonna take a while. When I grew my hair out, like when I was in high school, I. I a lot of high school stories today. Yeah, I fucking where, grew it to the where, part where, where it was at, in bro? my eyes, uh-huh. but like it, it was just poking me because it was right that perfect <laughs> length, and it would just poke me in the fucking eyeball. Kind of like a when a banana peel is just slapping against your face, and you know, and you're eating the banana, slap, and it's slap, 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 slap. The slappy sewer carnival banana boys. <laughs> Write that down for a title. Um... <laughs> Here I go. Here I go. I'm writing it down. I forgot immediately what it was. <laughs> Slappy <laughs> sewer banana sewer. boys. <laughs> Slappy sewer banana boys or something. There was carnival in there. Yeah, get throw a carnival in there. Why not? Carnival. Uh, <laughs> would you rather explore space with Neil Armstrong or travel to Rome with Julius Caesar? Is Julius Caesar like a stand-up dude? Uh, no, he was a tyrant. Then the other he, one. And he caused the fall of Rome. Yeah, the other one. And Neil Armstrong came back and is an American hero. Rome still exists. That's true. In some capacity. But the the Roman Empire fell. Yeah. No, I know, I know. But I'm just saying, it like, was, it was all. I Julius could go to space fault. now or yeah. Rome now. That's not a movie question, also. Uh, I mean, movies have been made about both of those people. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you seen Chariots of Fire? No. Or Apollo 13? No. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah me neither. Have you? No. Apollo 13? That's a classic. You haven't seen Apollo I 13? Haven't seen, I haven't seen <laughs> Apollo 13. After I literally just said I haven't seen <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. No, I haven't. <sighs> I've seen parts of it, actually, but Great. I've never sat down to watch cool. it. Cool. Bacon. 
Hanks. We've got a problem. Sinise. Bacon, we've got a problem. Not with not when you got bacon, am I right? Cook them up, baby. Cook them um, up. From... Would you rather be in a reality show or win an Oscar? Oh, they lost the plot. Uh-oh, they uh-oh. lost the thread here. Uh, I'd rather win an Oscar. Yeah, come on. No. What are you talking about? Be in a reality show or win an Oscar? At the worst, I'll I'd be sell so it good. For gold. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. There's something. They do something to the Oscars so that they don't let you do that. What does that mean? I they like. I don't know. Put a tracking chip into it, or or they like. They there's a barcode, or uh, it, it comes to life and 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 it, it walks back into your home, so you can't sell it. Well, but <laughs> what's stopping you? Even if they know where it is. You've just done it anyway. And, uh, when you try and sell it, it becomes too heavy to pick up oh, okay. the, the mad, molecular it's density. It's now it's it's science. Oh, and okay. the okay. molecular density gets too thick. You ever wonder if Merlin was just a, a really good alchemist? I sometimes wonder if uh, Merlin's a time traveler. And you like, well, it's Doctor Who. It's Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Doctor Who? One of my least favorite yeah. Doctor Who moments. <laughs> So to the happened TARDIS, in high school. <laughs> happened in high school. There, there's there's some episode probably by fucking Stephen Moffat where, they, so the the, the 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 TARDIS has a very iconic noise when it comes into a place. It goes raw, raw, raw. It makes that fucking donkey ass noise that it's made. But like at one point, there's an episode where, I th- I think it's one where the TARDIS like. I, I don't fucking remember. And, like, somebody says, like, oh, you've just always had the emergency brake on on the TARDIS, and that's why it makes that noise. <laughs> and it's like, this is a regular episode, yeah. so that's canon that's now? That's canon. Mm, that's real dumb. That's like Good. mitochondria. Good. Or not, not mitochondria. Uh, midichlorians, I mean. Midichlorians. Uh, I don't know. That's a, that's a funny gag. <laughs> it's a funny joke, but, it's like. one off. But now it's forever. <laughs> now, now it can't be undone. Be careful what you joke. Um, we're going to do one more. Okay. I think. Sure. Pick mm. a good one. Pick the perfect one. Mm. Pick the perfect one. All the rest of these are uh, go trash. To the best, go to the best list. Yeah, we're going to do the best list. Let's, okay, how about this? How about this? How about this? Go to the best list, but then we'll do one more from the hardest list. I want to look at both of these. Okay, but real quick, would you rather be thrown onto an island with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or thrown onto an island with the cast of The Hunger Games? Uh, turtles. Guess. Yeah, they won't kill us. Yeah. Because uh, they're good boys. There's a lot more people on The Hunger Games. Hardest? Also. You want hardest first or you want best? Let's do best first and then hardest. Okay. Here's the best. 69 best oh would God. you rather questions. Just the first one. Fuck yeah. Uh, they explain what they are. Great. Um... <laughs> Can't decide a category. And then they've got a, a screenshot of a fake Matrix for some reason. I Very don't, good. I don't know. Oh, um, what number do you want out of 69? I think, I think just one because they're going to start strong. The first one? They're going to start strong. It's going to get worse after Oh, that. I see why they have an image of a Matrix. Would you rather live in reality for the rest of your life or be in the Matrix for the rest of your okay, life? Okay, question, um, really question, question two. Question two. Question two. Question <laughs> two. Would you rather never get tired or never have to go to the bathroom? Uh, never get tired. That's a good one. I like that That's question. all right. Never get tired some... is the answer, though. But going to the bathroom is not that large an inconvenience. It's not that bad. Sleeping is a fucking huge... How large an inconvenience is sleeping? I would miss dreams... Uh, I really. I would, oh, you know, sometimes I, mm, Jimmy. I feel like you're gonna give me a run around here, Jimmy. What's a dream you remember? Uh, what's a dream that you that just lifts in your head rent free <laughs> that you've had? A dream that yeah, I've had. A dream. Yes. I think I've talked about the snake dream uh, where it, it was fresh. So my Snoopy. memory. So I had this dream as a kid. It was a recurring dream. Okay, listen, this is so wild. And I only remember it because it was a reoccurring dream. I can't even believe it, right? So so Snoopy was a radio DJ. And in my mind, what that okay. meant was yeah, no. he would take records from a stack yeah. and put them on. And every time he played a record, it, it a went to dream. a sub dream. Yeah. And then we'd come back to Snoopy. And then at the end of it, George, J- I, fought a giant, I fought a giant snake yeah. and I punched him. I right. punched him. And you then I woke snake. up and I felt more courageous than I ever did. And I and, and that leads me into mine, which I've probably told also, because uh, if you've told that one, then I've told this one. But I remember having a 1-800-COLLECT commercial dream <laughs> where uh, I was playing against Steve Martin and uh, C- Carrot Top. 
very iconic. And um, <laughs> the other people on my team was like a real tall, thin dude and like a busty, a busty uh, blonde lady. Named Stephen Martin. And like a, a squat wide man. Um, and it was some combination of uh, basketball, football, and hockey. <laughs> um, and then there was a flood. And then it was 1-800-COLLECT. <laughs> oh, my God. And that was that. I had that dream in high school, and I'll never forget it. Buck wild. Buck fucking wild. There's no dream that I've had that I've been like that. I've been like I ha- I'll remember this for the rest of my life. I do. I remember. I don't know. There's like they're not. It's not interesting. Get get to this bit. Get to the hard ones. The hard ones. Because sleeping sleeping such an inconvenience. Jimmy, you want the hard ones. Huh? And I don't want to. I don't want to sleep. I don't Here sleep come anymore. the hardest. Would I just you be the happiest. A hundred and thirty-eight hardest. Would you rather questions from Brightful dot M E. Oh my god. From the eighth of August, twenty twenty. It's a twelve-minute read. Oh what? They explain what would you rather's are again. Here are the hardest ones. Jimmy. Would you rather be forced to listen to the same 10 songs on repeat for the rest of your life or be forced to watch the same five movies on repeat for the rest of your life? That's so hard. I don't, that sucks. That sucks and it's vague. Can, I'm not allowed to do anything else. Uh, I think it's just like playing on a loop in the background. <laughs> in every new room you go into, the movie's on somewhere. I mean, movies are, <laughs> I feel like movies would be the way. I think it's movies too. And I love movies, but if I had the top five favorite movies, man, that'd be fine. That'd what are fine. your top five favorite movies? Why do you say that like you're falling asleep? Because no, it's funny. Because I'm like, because I'm just <laughs> like, hell, let's not do the next segment. Tell me your favorite <laughs> movies. Is why I did it in that voice. <laughs> Royal Ten Moms. Who framed Roger Rabbit? Two. Big Lebowski. Three. Uh, uh, the, the Willy Wonka's Adventures in Wonderland. <laughs> The, fir- the the regular one, the yeah, one? Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory yeah, yeah, yeah. with Gene Wilder. It's a good one. Um, and then the last one is Shawshank Redemption. They're good ones. Hey, thanks, man. That's a pretty good list. And I can't tell you which one's the top. It's the Big Lebowski. No, I know that it. No, is. it's it, but it's not because I love them all. Yeah, but you love the Big Lebowski. I do like the Big Lebowski a lot. I mean, I can't tell you the last time I watched it, but you love it. It's a very good movie. It's your favorite. <laughs> yes, Jimmy. Yes, and Jimmy. <laughs> you got me. You squirreled it out of me. You should work for the FBI. <laughs> they did it. <laughs> you told me what for. Uh, what are your your top five then? Huh? Hmm? Uh, huh? It's probably so. It, it hasn't changed that much. I think it's like uh, so. How to Train Dragons got to be up there. Oh, cool. Amelie. Yeah. The one with the, the, a, the a, a, a famous my bim bam joke. She's got a spoon. Um. And uh, 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 the professional, the professionals number ah, one. Ah, yes, I know that. Oh, that's oh, I know that. Yeah. No, Jimmy. No, it's your favorite. Yeah. The professionals are your favorite. Yeah, because I told you. <laughs> I'm agree. No, but Jimmy, listen. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm agree. Uh huh. That's three. That's three. I used to say Nightmare Before Christmas. I don't know if that's true anymore. Sure. Is it because of all the problematic? <laughs> Is it, is it problematic? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> it's been a minute. Uh-oh. It's been a minute Uh-oh. since I've seen it. Oh. And uh, Shrek 3. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I don't know. Shrek 3, the third inning. I can't. In my, right now in my brain, I can't think yeah. of it. Okay. So I'm going to just you, Hey, you mull it over. top three. Before we move on to the next segment, though, you know what? Because it was rainy day today. You know what movie they played today? What's that? The B movie. Oh. Why would they do that? They love kids. You know, the kids didn't even like it that much either, except one. His name? Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> Lil, Lil Jerry Seinfeld. Lil, Lil JJ Sineys. <laughs> you know, I don't even think J- Jerry Seinfeld likes that movie. I, I don't know. He likes jazz. But why? <laughs> why does... <laughs> why do those things go together? 
you like jazz? You like bees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you like jazz, you like bees, of course. Yeah, well, that's a quote from the movie. Oh, you're right. <laughs> that's, that was the joke I was making. Fuck, I don't even know. <laughs> uh, no, one kid loves the bee movie so much that when um, it was mentioned to his parent, Oh, yeah, we watched the B-movie. The parent was like, oh, yeah, my kid loves the B-movie. Oh, boy. Anyway, amazing, amazing. we're doing Lonely Hearts where it's we Lonely take Hearts. two online personal ads, we read them out loud, and we discuss whether or not those two people would fall in love with each other. Oh, yeah. First up is me. Jimmy, I'm not even going to ask you who's up first. I'm going first. Oh, wow. Okay. 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 Because here we go. From Reddit, 28 male for female USA. Title is, just one of those days, to be honest. (laughs) T-B-H. Male for female. Hello there. I'm Robbie from Indiana, and I'm here looking for some friends. I don't really have many people in my life that I talk to, and the few I do have are much busier than I am. So, here I am. Too busy for Robbie, I guess. So, about me. Pros. I'm really tall, 6'4". Pretty big gaming nerd. Big surprise, right, Jimmy? Uh. Oh, boy. Um, Dad jokes pretty much always make me laugh. Told I'm sweet. I think I'm funny. Lol. Ah! And that's the ends of the pro list. Not a lot of there's, them. there's a couple, a handful maybe. Oh boy, I'll tell you. Uh, cons, pretty shy. Dad jokes can also be a con based on your feelings, lol. Yeah. Not confident in myself. Pretty anxious. Find it hard to talk about myself. Okay. okay. He's an emotionally guarded, shy guy. Shy guy. Additional facts. Never seen Star Wars, Harry Potter, or Lord of the Rings. Feels like it's too late to start now. They're just movies. <laughs> what? It's too late for me. Go on ahead. Everyone else has seen them. I can't therefore see them. Take your light sword or whatever that is and keep going. What is that dang thing? Oh, my God. Um, uh, or Lord of the Rings. Uh, 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 potatoes. Um, I'm a diehard college football fan. Also really enjoy baseball. Oh, God. Ooh, here it is. Pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. Fight me, lol. I have opinions. Yeah, I guess so. Welcome to the internet. Uh, mostly listen to rap and country music, but I like a bit of everything. A lucky owner of a PS5. Wow. wow. This guy seems bland as hell. He doesn't seem interesting. There's maybe a reason his friends don't have time for him. Yeah, he... um. That pineapple and pizza thing really bummed me out. He's like, this is the thing that will get the ladies just going. It's too late for me to watch film. Maybe if I had a pizza with the appropriate amount of pineapple on it, which is to say zero, Zero. then I could watch it. All right, let's see if mine is... Anybody. Yeah, there's like nothing to say about him. Yeah, there's he just sucks. He's just like he's just kind of sucky. I haven't seen these movies, and I'm into nerd shit, but I'm not gonna tell you much about that. And also, I hate I hate talking about myself. So good luck with that. Good luck, ladies. I you love wanna, dad you jokes. Fuck down on this. I know you do. I know I lo- you do. I love dad jokes, but if you hate dad jokes, then sorry, sorry. <laughs> Based on your feelings. All right, twenty one, female for male. Title is Asia slash Anywhere. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Uh, it begins. Hello, world. Hello. I am an Asian chick with no dick. Ha ha. Sorry. Had to rhyme. It was right there. In yeah, parentheses. I, guess, I guess it was. Um, and then, okay, anyway, and like up and down caps. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure. Um, a little about me. I am super extroverted with introverted tendencies. However, as scientifically proven over the years, I've gotten more introverted. This is that was number one. Number two. Nope. It's numbered. Actually, it wasn't number one. But the next one is number two. <laughs> I got confused. Um, okay. So number two out of uh, out right. of one mm-hmm. so far. I would consider myself a rational liberal. Yes, liberalism is the way to go. But some liberals just are insane. Sorry. And I get yeah. what she means, but but still, but still, but uh, still three. Of two now, 
Technically, I'm being technical. My personality and emotions are very volatile. I can be the fucking life of the party, and the next thing I am so depressed, I can physically feel my soul trying to escape my sadness poisoned body. Oh, that's that's kind of fun, though. That's a lot of words. Yeah, I, yeah, but it's that a, painted a word picture. It, that was fun. Number four, I find that the adult industry is very saturated with people who want to capitalize and monopolize the industry and its workers. Okay, that's a fact about you, I guess. Are they a sex worker? They didn't say as such, though. Okay. Um, so. But that's kind of what they're alluding to, huh? Yeah, maybe. Um, five, funny story that paints a good picture of what and how I am. Colon, I lost a dare and had to roll down a steep hill, and I did it when I was 12 in front of the whole school, and school is spelled Mm. (laughs) S-K-E-W-L. That really paints a good picture about who they are and what they are about now. Yeah. They did a thing when they were 12. Another funny story. I went to London and got drunk, woke up in a hospital, woke up in the hospital. I would like to apologize to the owner of the house that I painted with my explosive vomit, but you can literally reside beside Club X O Y O. So he he. Oh, that person must live right next to the club she was at. Okay, dope. Um, I am all about wealth distribution. This is number seven. All about wealth distribution, redistribution. So go GameStop, hold that fucking stock, and let's eat the rich. I'm down with oh, that. I am down with yeah, that. Okay. Uh, and then eight. In case uh, maybe we hadn't already come to the conclusion. I'm a lot to handle. Uh, (laughs) Physically and mentally. Body crazy, curvy, wavy, big titties, little waist, and also quite insane. Oh, that's a TikTok thing. Oh. Body crazy, curvy, waist, big titties, little waist. Body yada, 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 yada. That's a uh, three stallion. How many are there? Three of them. Oh. Yeah. Uh, How many? There's there's uh, another name in front of it. Oh, let me look it up. Look it up. Google. Do yeah. a spicy uh, Google. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. P.S. I'm 411. And that's it. Ooh. That's 100 more than the band 311. <laughs> <laughs> so she's 100 better. <laughs> um, stallion. Uh, Megan 3 Stallion. Yeah. Body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. I might have heard it. I probably heard it. Yeah, probably. I got it, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Is that how it goes? <laughs> Bye, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. That's another TikTok one. Anyway, she's a lot. She's a There's lot. There's a lot going on there. Now, do you think that this a lot would be good for our other a little? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I do. I'm into it. I think that, um, I mean, she's tiny. He's huge. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, you know, like, she's a lot. He's a little. I think they'd play well off of each other. Hell, yeah. He doesn't seem, like, gross or weird or bad. He just seems bland. Milk toast. Milk toast. And she seems like she's got enough to go for the both of them. Yeah. Damn. She, she could lead in life. She'll lead. He'll follow. And he'll be like, hell, yeah, baby. He's into it. Hell yeah, baby. Blah, yada, 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 yada. Blah, yada, yada, blah, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Uh huh. You want to keep going? <laughs> no. You got any more? No. Anything left in the tank? Okay. Just a little, a couple fumes? Yada. Thank you. <laughs> that's all I needed. Jimmy, Jimmy, that's all I needed. Jimmy, we found love. We did it. Oh, man. It rarely happens. This is, oh, this is, oh. Pat ourselves on the back for a thing that didn't happen in real life, but we did uh, with our voices. Um, that sounds different. Uh, That's my back. <laughs> on audio. That's my back. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. It is. Yeah, no, I know. You saw me. Yeah, I was right here. I know. <laughs> yeah. Hey. It's, uh, we're making it like I wasn't patting my back, but I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the more we insist, the more it sounds like you were jacking off. Uh, That's not, that beat serious. That'd be so intense. Oh my God. That's a lot. I was hitting yeah, really yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. <sighs> oh. mm. you, gotta, you gotta be gentle. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, it's Would You Rather Buy. <laughs> Would You Rather Buy is a GPT. <laughs> Two neural network. We still don't know what that means. We say it every week, but I don't know. It doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> that asks, would you rather question? It's in its description on the, the account. So I read that because it feels better. Um, 
Y'all should uh, follow uh, WIR underscore bot on Twitter. Um, and um, here we go. Would you rather butter pizza or cheese pizza? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go cheese pizza. Yeah, cheese pizza, <laughs> butter pizza. Oh. I mean, okay, what if the crust was butter and then the sauce <laughs> was um, butter, chips, uh, and then butter chips, and then the cheese was butter cheese, <laughs> and then the topping, oh, Jimmy, guess what? It's going to be butter. Yeah, it's going to be butter. <laughs> What, what if? <laughs> Yummy. Why does that sound so much more disgusting than just butter, though? Even though every part was butter already. But why, though? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Because yeah! I, I put it that way. Um. Uh. Yeah, I'm going to go cheese pizza. What about you? Yeah. Okay. I'm, right. feeling, and, I'm feeling like I want to throw up talking about all that butter. That's right. You have a weird butter it's thing. It's only butter if I'm thinking, thinking about, about chomping into some butter. But then if I just have some butter, it's fine. You probably have a repressed memory when you were a child where you just ate a whole stick of butter and then got sick. I think I definitely... Well, because we had margarine. And margarine... Oh, the way no. We, we were a margarine house. What right? kind of margarine? Oh, it, uh, do you remember? L? It started with an L. It was. Uh, it wasn't one of the like weird butter names. It wasn't like I can't believe it's not. No, it oh, was okay. like a. I'll look it up. It was like lib, lib, liberal or something. No, nah, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's gonna be hilarious. Uh, no, it won't. It. No, it won't be. <laughs> <laughs> Spicy Google Spice. L best spreadable butter. I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna look it up anyway. But go on. Um, I prefer if you didn't. I'm gonna do that. No, Jimmy. There's a reason why. That I can't Google yes. margarine. That's right. What? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Don't worry about it. Stop. Um, <laughs> Our next would you rather? Ninety-two percent. It was I'm cheese confused. pizza. Good. Would you? I would have guessed ninety percent. Ah, I would have uh, guessed it. Mm, mm. Uh, <laughs> I believe you, it's Jimmy. I believe you. I believe you. Would you rather a new pancake or cream cheese omelet? Cream cheese. I want to see what an omelet. Yeah. No, hold on. No, that's disgusting. Actually, <laughs> it's an omelet with cream cheese in it. I'll type. I'll t- I'll do the new type of pancake. I want to know what a new kind of pancake is, but honestly, a che- cream cheese pa- omelet probably pretty good. Because I like cream cheese. <laughs> I like cream cheese too, but I feel like the amount of cream cheese you need for an omelet would be way too much. Honestly, it's not. So, uh, at, <laughs> <laughs> and here's why. Um, so at uh, at Mama's when I was a, a short order <laughs> line cook at a breakfast one, one place. More time. <laughs> when I was a short order line cook at a <laughs> breakfast place. Okay. Um, which is true, and I was. Uh, we had a customer who would regularly order cream cheese and strawberry omelets. Well, that's different. That's a sweet omelet. Because it's got a strawberries berry. in it? But how much cream cheese did you put in? Two small slices, and it was okay, fine. Okay, well, that's fine, then. I'm, I'm that's thinking what like, I'm saying. Well, I'm thinking, like, you get a, you think get an omelet at a, at a place, it's like a million it's fucking stuffed. eggs. Stuffed. How many eggs in a right in a mama's omelet? Uh, they said three, but it was generally, like, four. Yeah, it's it was a closer lot. closer to four. It's a lot. Four eggs is... Already a lot. I used to. That, that was my standard up until recently. Yeah, and 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 and, ugh. I get oh. an omelet at a place, similarly, but then there's also other please. shit in there. Yeah, there is. And I'm like, this is just all the food I need all fucking day. Give me but a spread really, on this really uh, pancake omelet debacle. Uh, Seventy on the pancake. Seventy two on the pancake. Oh! Yeah. He's rolling hot tonight. Would you rather eat a cheese? Or the handful of tacos. Ooh, that's gonna be tough to to judge. You, if, I, if it's a handful of tacos, they gotta be tiny tacos. Because they got a whole handful or of them. Or it's one taco is already a handful. Handful of tacos. Two tacos. <laughs> <laughs> I want I can hold two. I want to believe that they're like silver dollar sized <laughs> tacos. You could just got a whole had handful had of them. them. Had them. Had them. <laughs> or eat a cheese. I do you love cheese. Yeah, you do, I love, do cheese. love cheese, but I feel like the taco is more fun. It, listeners, there was a time in Jimmy's life where he was frequencing a cheese establishment on the daily and just bringing home a whole assortment of cheeses. It was a little cheese. We had cheese. like this whole cheese board that would happen at times. Oh, it was great. It was, it was good. Beautiful. Those were good times. And then times. the global pepperoni happened. <laughs> and here we are. That damn demic. Um, <laughs> which... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. So uh, this I'm going to go a handful of tacos. Yeah, but 
yeah, but I'm doing that too. But uh, I think it's sixty percent tacos. I think it's going to be close. Okay. Uh, what you what are you doing? Tacos well, or I'm cheese? Doing tacos. I'm doing tacos. Oh, you're doing tacos. But okay. I think it's sixty eight percent tacos. Ooh, that's taco. the yeah, you just squeaked right, by right, there, all right. buddy. All right, all right, all right. Jimmy. Hi. Would you rather sand in your shorts uh. or water in your ear? Uh, yeah, uh, pretty good one, I'd say. I'm going to say sand in my shorts um, because I grew up at the beach. I grew up on the beach. My house was the beach. And uh, sand got everywhere and it was gritty and rough. Um, uh, but I don't hate it. And uh, I, can, you I can got used to it. it. You can fix it. You can sand fix it. Shorts. And you also, can't. it's hard to fix water in your ear. I'll tell you what, Jimmy. What? With all that sand all over the place. Things get real smooth. Oh. <laughs> Things get real smooth. You get sanded. Oh, yeah. Exfoliation, I like my what man. you're telling me. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> you talked about a wrinkly brain earlier. We'll talk about a smooth chassis because everything got sanded down, baby. No oh. sharp points. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Remember when we got into TikTok for like a hot second and then uh, stopped talking about it forever and now you're on TikTok like crazy? I'm on TikTok like crazy. And you like, like, like crazy. Like crazy. So you want water in your ear is what I'm no, hearing. No, I want sand. I said sand. Oh, okay. I don't, because I can fix sand. I can't fix water in my ear. It, there's methods. I grew but up on the beach. I've I am got the beach. little My mom ears. is the beach. I've got the tiniest You've ears. Got tiny little ears, you do. And so it's look it's, at those ears. It gets all all up in there, and it stays. And a Q-tip can't reach far enough to help me. No, well, that's what I'm saying. There's methods. What? I get a plunger. Well, you gotta wait for the carnival to come into town, and oh. if it's a sewer carnival, then that's even better because they they know fluids. But um, <laughs> you get you get on the tilt a whirl. <laughs> <laughs> and but they have to. So that's that's I. They, I need to make sure I get the right direction yeah. though, because otherwise it'll go yeah. into my fucking brain. I know. And if you slip the carney a tenor, then he'll put it go in the right direction for you. You'd oh, be like, okay. "Hey, uh, Smitty, this is this is a tenor for for the the e- water ear direction." And he's like, "Ho oh, wink." <laughs> Winky dink. He says wink real loud and everybody like stops and stares at him for a second. You know, like when you say something real loud in a room and, and everyone every, shuts up. And everyone just, yeah. Moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all the rides stop and they all look they at all Schmitty look at, at the same time. What's Sand the, in what's your the, shorts. I think, I think 70, uh, Ooh. 65. Percent sand. Ooh, get right on that mic. Sand, <laughs> get sand. a little I bit move, better I moved, on I that. moved my sitting. <laughs> You've been off mic for like 20 minutes. No. <laughs> It'll be fine. I mean, it will. Yes. Um, <laughs> so uh, you, uh, one, one more time. 65 on 65. sand. 65. I'm sorry, Jim. It's 56 <gasps> That's within sand. 10. That's within 10. Is it? I don't know numbers. That's 90% away. Uh, would you rather hot, flat Coca-Cola or Ooh. coffee that has gotten cold, not iced coffee? Does it say that? Yeah. Ooh, In parenthesis. That's excellent. Would you rather? That's tough. I'm picking coffee just because I don't like soda. Right. And hot, flat Coke. That's hot. Ugh. Hot, flat Coke. But a lot of people probably don't like cold coffee, like regular cold coffee. I'll drink coffee however you give it to me, so yeah, but I'm like, going cold. But but you, I don't, I feel, oh, it's tough. <laughs> I feel like one of them is less gross and that, that the less gross one is coffee personally. Yeah. Who wants to cook Coke? Uh, they used to cook. do that in the olden days. They used to sell hot Coke. Yeah, okay, fine. In like uh, the 40s or whatever. Yeah, give me a spread on this. Uh, this is tough. I'm going to, this is where I leave. Hey, there, chum, you want a, a, a piping hot cup of Coca Cola? I, I, I think it's the same kind of a deal. I'm going to say 65 for, for, for coffee. Oh. My God! Is it exactly? That? It's sixty six percent. Hell yeah! Okay, we I was sh- worried. We should be we should be betting fucking money on this. Hell yeah! Give me a time check, Jim. A time check. Uh, we've we've been going for fifty minutes. Fifty minutes. We got ten minutes. Yeah. Okay, we're done with this shit. Okay. <laughs> bye. Would you rather? But I love you. And you know what, Jimmy? There's a there's a margarine based game. I guess earlier in in this podcast, you tried to do. A spicy little Google. And I'm going to tell you what. Wait. 
Yep. <laughs> it's everybody's favorite game show. Knock it off. I'm your host, Dane Vincent Fox McGraw, and I'm here to tell you that it's time to knock it off. And Jimmy. And I'm Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, you're my contestant this week again. And Hi. I, I got to tell you. That hot, spicy Google might have ruined my entire day. Is it? Is it really so, margarine knockoff here brands? Here we go. Because that's like the wildest the, fucking coincidence in the world. The rules of this game are such. I'm going to read off a list of products. They are all knockoffs of a particular type of product. Is it margarine? Uh, Jimmy is going to be guessing it's what mar- it's that... Margarine. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up for a second. <laughs> Jimmy's going to guess what the product is. And then I'm also going to be hiding three secret made up titles. This is going to be made funny. up little products in because there. Because I can't believe it's not butter is going to be real. But there's a lot of <laughs> silly ones. There's a lot of knockoff. I can't believe it's not butters. So we're, we're going to start. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry I ruined it. You I didn't, didn't ruin, know. You didn't ruin anything. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, here we go. So, our first uh, our first uh, product uh, <laughs> one. So, I'm going to read them. Jimmy, last time you interrupted <laughs> me because you guessed the fucking product while I was saying them. The joke is, and I'm going to say this specifically, <laughs> I need to read all of them and then you guess. Okay. Because the joke is they're probably going to be pretty apparent by the end. Uh, so if you're guessing it while I'm doing it, the joke doesn't work. It's margarine. <laughs> <laughs> you just play the theme music. Well, that's it. <laughs> here, we, here we go. <laughs> Our first... I'll Our be... first category is as such. I'll be quiet. Yes, shut shut up. I'll be shut quiet. up for once. Okay. Here we go. Cheese curls, fiery hot. Hot and spicy cheese crunchies. Crunch cheese. Blazing hot cheese nibblings. Hot cheese crunch. Cheetah puffs. Cheetahs, cheddar crunchers, and pedos. Pedos. <laughs> what is the product? It's flaming hot Cheetos. That's right, Jimmy. <laughs> ding 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 ding. It's margarine. <laughs> <laughs> the original the, uh, of these of this line of products is in fact uh, Cheetos or flaming hot Cheetos. Uh, not all of these are flaming hot, but you know that's what we got. Um, what so flaming got. We're going to go through these, and I, uh, you're going to tell me there's, there's three? three of these that are made up by yours truly, okay. um, and you're going to say either real or made up so that I can keep track. Okay. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. First up, cheese curls, fiery hot. Real. Hot and spicy cheese crunchies. Real. Crunchies. Real. Blazing hot cheese nibbles. Fake. Cheetah puffs. Real. Hot cheese crunch. Fake. <laughs> <laughs> you want to <laughs> go on, go on. <laughs> One more time. It's hot cheese crunch. Fake. Go, yeah, okay, okay. okay. Cheetahs. I think that's real. Cheddar crunchers. I think uh I think that one's fake. We're going to reassess, though. I don't okay. know what's left. And pedos. I think pedos real because it's too stupid. <laughs> it's too stupid. It's like, this is, the, this is the mind game of like, will Jimmy think that my really, really outrageously bad name is obviously fake? Yeah. Or is it so absurd that it has to be real? Uh-huh. And I'm guessing the second one. Okay. So I guess I guess final answers on yeah. the three I chose. Yeah, I don't remember what they were. Uh, I should be writing these down. You said you were going to check. You said say it so you know. Yeah, I know. So. <laughs> All right, well, just, we'll just, just Here tell me, ones. and then I'll yeah, be like, are the those are ones. the ones I chose. The fake ones that I came up with were Crunchies, 
Ah, uh, that sounds so real though. Cheetah Puffs. Really? Yeah. Oh, and man. Cheddar Crunchers. Did I guess real on that? You one? did. Yes. I I, got them I all faked wrong. you. No, I th- mm, I think you said Cheetah Puffs were fake. No, I said Cheetah Puffs were real because yeah. it sounds like a straight up uh uh it sa- it sounds like a rip off name. Cheese curls, hot spicy cheese crunchies, blazing hot cheese nibbles, pitos, hot cheese Pitos. crunch, and cheetahs were all real. Yeah, I think I I think I was O for free. Okay. O for three. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Well, Jimmy, uh, you didn't win that round, and that's fine because we've got round two coming up right now. Shut the fuck up, Jimmy. (laughs) Shut your stupid fucking mouth. God damn it. Here we go. Okay. I'll be quiet. And once again, guess at the end. I'll be quiet. Okay? For reals, though. I'll be quiet. Okay. The first time. (laughs) (laughs) I'm being quiet. (laughs) <laughs> i'm not i'm not doing anything i know i know i know <laughs> wow i totally thought it was butter <laughs> no ifs ands or butter butter but better this is not butter it's butterific this could be butter but it's not <laughs> You'd think it's butter. What? Not butter? <laughs> Unbelievable. This is not butter. Memories of butter. Spread the word. This isn't butter. Butter it's not. Tastes like butter. Or you'd butter believe it. Hot cheetah. <laughs> Jimmy, what is that product? It's hot cheetos. <laughs> You're right, it is hot cheetos. <laughs> the fact that, okay, the fact that I can't believe it's not butter came up at all in this episode. <laughs> it's not, yeah, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> no. Well, oh, so uh, like, there's no way I wouldn't have not. I mean, like, what do you want? I would have guessed it. It's hot cheetos. <laughs> Okay, now the tricky part, though, is I, I have a, I have a pretty okay idea. So There's it, three of these. There's a lot more of them this time, too. There are, and that's why this is the challenge round and why I didn't go first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So there's a lot more. There's only three that are fake. You ready? Yes. Okay. First off the back, you're, you're going to say... True or false? Nope. Correct. Wait, you're why? Gonna, you're going to say real or fake. Okay. Okay? Here we go. Wow, I totally thought it was butter. Real. Uh, n- no ifs, ands, or butter. Real. Butter, but better. Real. This is not butter. It's butterific. Fake. This could be butter, but it's not. I think that one's fake, too. Uh, you'd think it's butter. True. R- real, real, real. <laughs> what? Not butter? <laughs> that one's fake. You're laughing so much I just, about that I just one. Love, I just love them all. <laughs> that one. That one's fake, baby. Unbelievable. This is not butter. That one's real. Memories of butter. I think that one's real, too. <laughs> <laughs> Spread the word. This isn't butter. Real. Butter, it's not. Real. Tastes like butter. Real, real. You'd butter believe it. Oh, you sound okay. I, I'm gonna put that on the fake list now too. Now there's four fakers. <laughs> oh, you had already done three. Yeah, but okay. we gotta hear them all again. Because what if the, I'm wrong? The three fake. Okay. Were okay. Butter, but better. I said. I think that was the one yeah, I said. Yeah. Okay. 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 Mm, no, no, no. You said this is not butter. It's butterific. Was fake. Is that one real? That one is real. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Companies. Uh. Butter but better is one of mine. Uh, another one is this could be butter, but it's not. Yeah, I guess that one. Okay, yeah. That one's too And then the last much. one is spread the word, this isn't butter. I guess that one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you're two for three. Yeah, well, I guess four, so one of them is still, I got one out of three. <laughs> you guessed, <laughs> you guessed you'd butter believe it <laughs> as a uh, fake one, that's but so, it is that's so obvious. very real. I think it was just because you were laughing. I got tricked. You said what not butter was fake also. 
because that one really tickles me in a special <laughs> way. What? It's not butter. It's like caveman talk. And it's not even a question mark at the end. It's an exclamation point. What? what? Not, not butter. butter. <laughs> You'll butter believe it, Buster. I uh, honestly, I think I really like my three fake ones. Butter, but better is. Uh, mm. List them all off one more time. All of them. Your, fa- to your fake ones. My fake ones. Um, uh, butter, but better. This could be butter, but it's not. So, yeah, that's... that's, that's... Spread the word. This isn't butter. <laughs> it's a play on spreadable that butter. One, really? Yeah. <laughs> Spread the word. Because that one's like a story is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, like... They're all a story. <laughs> Fucking memories of butter. Are you kidding me? But that's like a brand name. I guess. But the other one's like you have to walk down the path to grandma's house and get that margarine. Look at how look at how austere this this package is for memories of butter. Why is it also next to the other one that Well, they, this is a collage. They did a collage oh. image of you think it's butter, what not butter, unbelievable. This is what? not butter. <laughs> not butter. Not not all those are American, right? Isn't that the deal? Um, so just one of them is. Uh, it looks like Japanese. Unbelievable! This is not butter. It's Japanese. Um, <laughs> that makes that makes a little bit. The more rest sense. of them. The cadence of that product name. Wow! I totally thought it was butter. Is uh, a short story. It's a sentence. <laughs> it's a chapter book. Wow! Um, wow! No ifs, ands, or butter. <laughs> oh man! Anyway. God, I love that. I can love we, that game so much. We, it's a fun one. Can we use all that margarine to grease up our exit here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you laugh like you're high. I know. <laughs> you laugh like you're fucking Because it's a dumb thing, it. and then I made you laugh a little bit, and I was like, that was a good joke, but it was, still wasn't. I can't make it a good joke. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us for another week in the hot tub. Um, if you have any would you rathers for us, you can send them to the PJCCast at gmail.com or tweet them using hashtag the PJCCast. Uh, Jimmy, if you could copy what I just said and put it at the front because we're supposed to be doing that at the front of the show I won't. from now on. I won't do um, it. Thank I you won't for, remember. Thank you for doing that. Um, and uh, we release every Tuesday. And uh, if you have any would you rathers for us, well, I already said that one. I'm all mixed <laughs> up. Um, uh, thank you to Brad T. Jonas Brad for our cover art. Thank you, Jordan, for our theme song thank there. You, they are uh, Brad T. Jonas and underscore contaminants, uh, respectively, on Instagram. With respect. Um, Jimmy, I, what, do you, what, do you have fun today? I'm all greased up. Yeah. <laughs> you got go. all that. Um, inner tubing. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I've greased up the inner tube also. Is that a thing? Put margarine all over your body and your tube. You better believe butter, believe it, Buster. <laughs> butter, believe it, Buster. <laughs> Man, I should have put a Buster in one of those. Buster, huh? Buster. <laughs> butter, Buster. <laughs> I'm the butter Buster, baby. I'm the BBB. <laughs> I'm the butter Buster, baby. I'm gonna cry about it. Why, why, why? I cry buttery tears. What are you going to do? You're going to change my diaper? What do you think you're going to find in there? I'll give you one hint. It's butter. It, it, it could be butter. <laughs> it could be butter. But it's not. Memories of butter. It's memories of butter. I hid what I made. You have an all butter diet. What? <laughs> <laughs> you just die. For another week, my name's Dane. I'm Jimmy. And have a good night and get home safe. Moo. But it's not butter. That's the thing. It's not. Ohm. It's a backwards cow. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I'm backwards cow, backwards cow. Backwards cow, backwards cow. Backwards cow, backwards cow. Walking backwards. Back, 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 it goes from the fourth ooh, stomach ooh. to the first. Oh, it's no. It's weird. Oh. It's real weird. That means the food goes in the wrong end. Yeah, they butt chug grass. <laughs> <laughs> what if you uh, smoked weed out of your butt? Buck chugged weed. You probably could. You probably hey. You, you literally you probably can't. could. <laughs> you can't su- well, some people can suck up air through their bottom. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Pra- it's not a normal thing to do. But I'll some- practice and get back to. So you So there was a guy week. who could suck up air and then like fart a lot. Wow, and that was like a talent. Yeah. Oh.